Have you ever thought about this? Most of us use our iPhones in more or less the exact same way, but your iPhone can do a lot more than you think and many of the best features are tucked away unused. So in this video, I'm going to show you 15 insanely useful things that you probably didn't even know your iPhone could do and you'll see exactly which ones you're already using and which ones you've been missing out on. Let's say you're on YouTube and suddenly you remembered something or maybe this video you're watching reminded you of something and you want to take a note. What do you do? You'll swipe up and go to the home screen. You'll find the notes app there or if not, you'll swipe down to open spotlight and you'll search it in here. Open it and finally take your note. We all do this and we do it at lightning speed because we've always done it. It's almost automatic, but clearly inefficient. But what if you could access Spotlight from anywhere? You'd be able to open apps, make calls and perform all kinds of actions without leaving whatever you're doing. Let me show you how. First, you go into settings, then accessibility, then touch and at the bottom, go to back tap. Then tap on double tap and finally select Spotlight. Now, whenever you double tap on the back of your iPhone, it will open Spotlight regardless of what you are doing on your iPhone. Imagine you have a photo of something or a person and the background is really messy and you want to get rid of it. Normally you have two options, either you use Photoshop or some kind of AI tool. But the problem is doing it on Photoshop takes a lot of time and effort. And with most AI tools, you have to pay to get the full resolution image. But here's the thing, you can do it right on your iPhone. Just open the image in the Photos app Tap and hold on the main subject and using machine learning, your iPhone will create a glowing line over it. Here you'll see a toolbar from which you can share just the main subject from the image to any app or save it directly to your photos library. On some subjects like plants for example, you'll get a lookup option to get information on the subject. It also works on videos, just hit pause and repeat the exact same process. You can even drag and drop the cutout directly to any app. No loss in quality, no limits, it's like an instant photo shop and it works system wide especially on Apple apps. The only limitation I could find is that subjects with finer edges like hair may not give the best results because it's doing it almost instantly. When you need a clean copy of a receipt, a document or some notes, you pull out your iPhone, snap a quick picture and it looks terrible. Shadows everywhere, the page is crooked and the background makes it look more like a random photo than a document. And if it's more than one page, you're gonna send five different photos. It just looks unprofessional. Now you could use a scanner app, but they all have annoying ads and honestly, they don't work that well. But here's the thing, you already have a scanner built right into the notes app on your iPhone. Just hit the camera button, tap scan documents and it automatically crops, straightens and sharpens the page. And it even lets you turn multiple scans into one clean PDF. No extra app, just a professional looking document in seconds. You can also use filters and markup tools if you like. You're in bed, listening to music, podcasts or even a YouTube video but you don't want it running all night. Some apps don't even have a sleep timer and the ones that do only work inside their app. You fall asleep and your phone keeps playing for hours, draining battery, using up data and messing with your sleep. But hidden in the clock app's timer is a feature called stop playing. You set the timer and tap on when timer ends. Then go to the bottom and select stop playing. Instead of ringing when the timer ends, it shuts off your music, videos or podcasts automatically no matter which app you're using. It's like a universal sleep timer for your iPhone. Do you ever hand your phone to someone just to show them a photo and suddenly they're swiping and now they're in your messages or your bank app? Well, before, if you wanted to lock an app, you had to mess with screen time passcodes or weird shortcuts. But now iOS has a fix. Just long press on any app and tap require face ID. From that point on, the app is locked. Even if your phone is unlocked, opening the app needs face ID again. Quick, simple, built-in privacy. Your lock screen wallpaper looks nice, but it's just a picture, flat, static. No matter how good it looks, it doesn't feel alive. But iPhones have a trick for this. You can set a live photo as your wallpaper and the moment you wake up your display, it comes alive. It animates. If you want to know more about this, check out my customization video, I've linked it in the description. Do you ever open your phone at night, brightness all the way down and still feel like the screen is burning your eyes? Turning the brightness down helps a little but those whites are still blinding. It's like shining a flashlight straight at your face. Dark mode helps too but not completely. It's really not good for your eyes. That's where a hidden setting comes in. To enable it, go to settings, accessibility, display and text size and turn on reduce white point. You can use the slider to adjust the intensity of the effect. Instead of dimming the whole screen, it specifically tones down the brightest parts, making the display softer, easier on your eyes and way more comfortable at night. 
setting a timer on iPhone seems simple until you're spinning that wheel and spinning and spinning. You're just trying to set two hours, but you keep overshooting, scrolling back, adjusting. And if you need something oddly specific, like 47 seconds, forget it. But here's the trick. You don't have to spin the wheel at all. Just tap on the numbers, a keypad pops up, and you can type the exact time you want. It's one of the small hidden shortcuts that makes the experience more efficient. Do you ever get a call while you're cooking, driving, or just can't reach your phone in time, and by the time you grab it, the call's already gone? It happens all the time. Your hands are full, you're across the room, or maybe you just can't swipe to answer fast enough. Important calls get missed for the dumbest reasons. But your iPhone actually has a feature that fixes this. Hidden inside accessibility settings, you can set your phone to automatically pick up calls after a few seconds. No swiping, no buttons. Go to Settings, Accessibility, Touch, and call audio routing. Then tap on auto answer calls and enable it. Below it, you can set the time to wait before the call is automatically answered and it even works with FaceTime and apps like WhatsApp. Do you ever open Apple Music just wanting to play your gym playlist or your chill mix and you end up scrolling, searching and digging through your library just to find it? It's annoying. Your library is full of playlists, albums and artists, but the ones you actually use all the time get buried. You either waste time scrolling or type it in search every single time. But there's a fix. You can pin your playlists, albums or artists in Apple Music. Just long press on it, hit pin and now they'll always stay at the very top of your library. One tap, no scrolling, no searching. So those were 10 insanely useful iPhone features and if you want more tricks like live wallpapers and customization, check out these videos. Hit like on this video and subscribe to watch more iOS videos. Peace.